Manny Pedro here. I just wanted to do a quick video on the important gauges that I use on my Garmin um, and also my Wahoo Roam when I'm riding. I'm on my road bike today and this is uh, the Garmin Edge 1030 and these are my KPIs if you will, important metrics that I like to use to measure what I'm doing on the bike, how I'm feeling, all these things are relatable. I like to think of it as um, a tree. And the route is gonna start with my speed at the very top. I always have to monitor my speed because I feel like that's important for me to know. Um, that's gonna also factor in how far I'm gonna be going, um, how long it takes for me to get there, what I need to do um, in between the process of getting there. And that's when distance comes in. That's the second metric. I'm gonna start from top to bottom. So distance is super important today. I'm just wrapping up the ride. Uh, it's a big endurance day for me, so um, just about 80 miles in the saddle. I have 78 miles that I completed, and I did that under uh, five hours. Um, it's noon right now. I was out around a little after seven o'clock this morning. Um, so distance is super important because that's gonna help me measure how far I am and what I need to do um, throughout the time of my ride, whether or not I wanna to decide to either turn around or um, you know, continue going further. Along that, going further down the line is cadence. Cadence is important because that's how many revolutions per minute your legs are spinning. I like to stay between 90 to 100. That's gonna determine how much output you're gonna be putting on the bike. And then that leads into your power. I use three second power. That's how much power you're putting out to distribute um, that into ground speed when you're riding, which also correlates to speed. It also correlates to the distance that you'll be traveling every time you turn over a pedal. I like to also monitor my calories. You'll see calories on there because I wanna know how much um, calories I'm burning when I'm on my bike. Um, I like to always eat before I'm hungry and uh, drink before I'm thirsty. So that's an important metric to know. Um, I like to you know, always chew something. I bring food, I pack food with me. I'm going, especially when I'm doing big endurance rides. Whether you eat before you leave home, that's important too. I like to have an oatmeal sometimes. Today I didn't. Um, I had a pretty big carb up breakfast uh, dinner last night, so I felt pretty good. Um, so like, I always measure my calories to know how much I'm burning so that I can always continue to refuel. My heart rate's super important, 225. I don't know why it says that. I think um, that's, that's totally incorrect. So I have to look at my heart rate monitor, but um, that's all, always something to measure as well. You wanna make sure you're not like spiking or hitting your red zone because that could cause some damage to your body. You could get really fatigued and bonk. And then time of day, I wanna know uh, what time of the day it is so that I can monitor my time. And the timer, how much I've been riding on the bike, how many hours I've been putting in. Um, today I did four hours and 45 minutes. And I'm gonna stop the clock now because I obviously did not do that yet. So yeah, that's what I have on my screen. And I'd love to know what you have on yours. So. Leave a comment below, let me know it's on your screens, whether you're using a Wahoo Element Roam, like my other computer, that's on my gravel bike, or the Garmin Edge 1030. Let me know what important KPIs and metrics that you all track with doing your rides, and uh, drop a comment below, let me know what you, what you think about my metrics, and if I should either take away or add something. Um, I also like to keep it really minimal as well, so you don't need to look at so much data on your screen. Um, but those are just some of the things I like to know, especially if I'm doing a really good workout and I'm training um, for life. <laughs> uh, not necessarily a particularly a race or anything, but training for life. But um, anyway, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.